Hi guys and welcome back. Today we will see how to plot a graph or plot an XID or some kind of graph and also how to modify it and use templates to save it so that we can use that template uh, even after means uh, after few days if you are plotting it again you can use the template directly so that the graph looks beautiful so over to the content so again this is the origin interface so let's import some data go to file then import single ASCII so from the existing data let's select xy file open it Okay, now the data is imported to the workbook now without giving any name or units let's do it let's select the x and y axis then go to plot here now the xrd has been plotted so now over to beautification so this graph doesn't look nice right we cannot give it to any publication or so so we can modify it into standard forms so first of all we have to close this box here only x and y axis is given so we have to close it, it at top and at the right corner so double click on to this axis so you will get a box there so from this box first of all select title and format the option title and format so you will get the window like this now i'll show you this so we have to get it closed at top and right so select here top then go to the option show access and ticks okay we can check it by applying so apply then you have the access at the top but you don't want the ticks here so here is the option major ticks and minor ticks so select none there and apply so that ticks are not visible anymore now go to the right again show access and ticks now here it's already none is selected so go to apply now the box is closed now if you uh, here at the bottom we have minor ticks which is not so good so go to bottom minor ticks click on to none for minor ticks now we can increase the thickness of the line so go to the thickness option here and select some other value higher value and try applying it now that's look nice now go to left again minor ticks of the minor ticks then thickness you can increase now go to apply okay then um top also we can increase the thickness and right also we can increase the thickness now this is good now we have to change the scale so that the graph starts from zero starts from the uh, left corner and ends at the right corner so for that go to scale go to the option scale and uh, you can select from there you can put it as this is a vertical scale so vertical scale will start from zero and apply so the axis started from zero now go to horizontal scale and starting value for xrd here it is five sorry five and the ending value here it is 60 usually it will be 5 and 90 go to apply now the plot is complete here the y axis for vertical axis the incrementation is 5000 let's make it 2000 so that's good but actually for xrd the y axis is not given because the unit is arbitrary unit 
so you can also neglect that means you can delete that or um as you wish it can be there or uh, you can delete that now this beautification is over i think now click on to okay now we can give the access names so select this here a here select that and give the value 2 theta there and in brackets you can give the units okay now that's done now for y-axis the unit is intensity so give the I mean name is intensity and the unit is arbitrary units so that's also done now to increase the size just click on to the numbers there then here the size option font size is there you can increase it you can make it bold similarly y-axis also you can increase the size you can make it bold and then for this uh, writing part select the font select the writing and then increase the size and make it bold similarly this axis also increase the size and make it bold now that's good you can change the position and not only that now the xrd now the float or the box is nice but xrd doesn't look so right so double click on to the float okay now you can change the width of the float select some three here and try applying it all right now that has become bold you can change the color here option is there you can change it to red or green or whatever you like okay this is how you will change the color you can also use some style of that xrd like you can use dots so it will look something like this you can this is dash okay now you can use dots so it will be like this there are more options like dash dot dash dot dot so short dots okay you can try all that and solid that's all right okay now click on to apply and then okay now this xrd is uh, good now one more thing you can do it here here the xrd plot has been named b right so you can change that name you can give the sample name here so let it be okay we can give it as xrd1 now this so here if you have many xrds floated one over the other or some other plots then you you will be having different names here so you can give different sample names like this now I'll show you how to save this as a template meaning if you have some other XRDs to be plotted then directly select the values and you can go to template so that this access will be available to you always all right so for that go to file here we have an option save template as so click on to that save template as option and then category is user defined now template name you can give the template name here let it be xrd1 okay so we can give that template name there and click on to okay now this xrd1 has been saved as a template okay now let's try plotting it we can delete this graph now delete so i'll show you without using template if we select this and plot it will be the ordinary xrd that we saw earlier now using template 
select this graph go to plot then we have an option here template library so go to that template library option from there you can see the categories here so we had saved it as xrd1 right in user defined we have saved our template as xrd1 so select that xrd1 this xrd and uv i had done it earlier i had saved it earlier so XRD, we can select xrd1 and go to the option plot so see that all this is uh, already we had saved all this and that has come a beautiful graph right so this is how we will save a template and use it in our further plotting okay hope this is uh, good so if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and thanks for watching